the we are going to see about tcp header fields the tcp header fields consist of source port address destination port address sequence number acknowledgement number header length reserved bits and window size checksum and urgen pointer source port is 16 bit field it identifies the port of sending application destination port is 16 bit field it's for receiving application detail and sequence number is a 32 bit field it assigns the sequence number to the data acknowledge number is 32 bit field uh, the sequence number of data bit of the receiver expects to receive the next from the center header length is 4 bit field it contains the length of the tcp header actual data where it begins is denoted by the header length reserved bits are used reserved for future use it's a 4 bit field they are all set to 0 and the window size is a 16 bit field it contains the receiver window size and how much the sender can receive the data without acknowledgement and checksum is used for error control whereas window size is used for flow control checksum is used to check the errors um, urgent pointer is a 16 bit field urgent pointer is va valid and evaluated if the URG bit is set to 1 option is used for several several purposes such as timestamp, window size extension, parameter negotiation and padding and the size of the option is vary from 0 bytes to 40 bytes The next question we are going to see about congestion avoidance technique. To avoid congestion, we can um, use the receiver window size. The receiving window size, the sender should not set greater data greater than the receiving window. And there is also congestion window. Sender should not send data greater than the congestion window. The congestion window leads to the dropping of TC segment, which causes TCP retransmission. TCP congestion policy consists of three types slow, slow start phase, congestion avoidance phase, and congestion detection phase. What is slow start phase? Slow, st slow start phase means it uh, increases exponentially, first from 1, 2, 4, like that. So the size of the congestion window increases exponentially. It, re it increases exponentially until the congestion window size reaches the slow, slow start threshold. After reaching the threshold, the sender increments the condition window size by 1. This phase lasts until the condition window size becomes equal to the receiver window size. And the condition detection phase, there are two cases. One is detection or timeout and the other is direction, condition, direction on receiving three duplicate acknowledgements. Why is condition on timeout means? The time of timer expires before receiving the acknowledgement for a segment. Uh, it means before the acknowledgement is received, the sender sender does not receive the acknowledgement. So this causes the strong possibility of congestion in the network. So this can be this reaction is the sender reacts by setting the slow start threshold to hop the current condition size window size and decreasing the condition window size to 1 must and resuming the slow start phase and condition detection phase the case 2 it's uh, receiving 3 duplicate acknowledgement sender receives 3 duplicate acknowledgements per segment this causes a weaker possibility of condition on the network there are chances that the segment have been dropped so what will the sender react by means it's setting the slow short threshold to hop the current condition window size and it decreases the condition window size to slow start threshold and resumes the condition avoidance phase. Thank you.